Hello friends, in our previous lecture we have started with reducing balance method and we have completed 7 sum of it. Now today we are going for directly 9 sum that is last sum of this chapter because 8 sum is having the machinery account and journal at least for one year and that such type of sums are not expected in exam. Second sum is also that way that you are asked only for one year so that one year is not expected in exam. So expected in exam is sum number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, the 9 only 6 sums are there to prepare and in that also 3 4 5 6 are regarding straight line method 7 and 9 9 are regarding reducing balance method what is the basic difference between uh, fixed installment or straight line method and reducing balance method is that in straight line method the depreciation is fixed every year and it is calculated on the cost price while in the reducing balance method it is every year calculated on the remaining value and today we are at the last sum because 8 sum is regarding only one year then 10th and 11th sum is not in our course so today our chapter is completed with sum number 9 okay Sudan Shoe Limited has purchased one machine for 22,200 rupees on 1412. Its installation expense was 1800. Another second machine was purchased on 11030 for 20,400 and its installation expense paid 12. Every year, company provides depreciation at 10% under reducing balance method on 31350. First machine was sold at 20% loss of its book value. From above information, pass journal entries for first 3 years and only prepare machinery account for first 3 years. We are starting by writing the calculation last sum of this chapter, question number 9, by writing the accounting years. In that, first year is from 1430 to 30 sorry 1412 231330 second year is from 1430 to 231340 third year is from 1440 Depreciation is 10%. 10% depreciation under reducing balance. So let's start with first machine. Purchase price on one four twelve twenty two two hundred <coughs> twenty two thousand two hundred expense eighteen hundred. We have to calculate depreciation till 3 years and at the last we are selling it. 
सो माइनस डेप्रिशिएशन ऑन थर्टी वन थ्री थर्टी इन ब्रैकेट ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड इंटू टेन परसेंट विच इज टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर हंड्रेड इज ट्वेंटी वन सिक्स हंड्रेड बैलेंस ऑन वन फोर थर्टी अगेन माइनस डेप्रिशिएशन ऑन थर्टी वन थ्री फोर्टी Now twenty one thousand six hundred into ten percent will be two one six zero. Balance is nineteen four forty. So this is balance on the third year one four forty. Again minus depreciation on thirty one three fifteen. Now nineteen thousand four forty multiply ten percent is nineteen forty four. Now balance on last year balance on thirty one three fifteen and this is a sales date also. So it is seventeen thousand four hundred and ninety six rupees. Okay. Now we are selling this machine. For twenty percent loss of this coupon, so minus loss on sale seventeen four ninety six into twenty percent. See, it is. Three four nine nine point two. Don't write the amount in point. Let it be three four nine nine only. Point two is there. If it is more than point five, then we will have round of it as thirty five hundred. Now this is the sales value. So seventeen four ninety six minus three four nine nine. Don't write the amount in decimals. Okay. So it is. Seventeen four ninety six minus three four nine nine is thirteen thousand nine hundred and ninety seven rupees. The sales value of the first machine is thirteen thousand nine ninety seven rupees. Okay. Now going for the second machine. Now regarding second machine, it is purchased in the middle of the second year. Okay. So purchase price. Purchase price on one ten thirty is rupees twenty thousand four hundred. Plus expenses are twelve hundred. So the cost price, cost price. On one ten thirty will be twenty thousand four hundred plus twelve hundred is twenty one thousand six hundred. Okay. Now minus depreciation on thirty one three forty. But now if you see the difference here, it is not twelve months but ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, and three. Six months depreciation will be calculated. Twenty one six hundred into ten percent into six upon twelve. So twenty one six hundred into ten percent into six upon twelve is one thousand eight. So balance on one sorry one four fourteen is rupees twenty thousand five hundred and twenty. Again. Minus depreciation on the last day, but this machine is not sold. So twenty thousand five twenty multiplied ten percent is two zero five two. So finally the balance will be there. Balance on thirty one three fifteen will be twenty five twenty minus twenty fifty two is eighteen. 
okay so regarding first and second machine this calculations are over now journal entries are required which we are going to pass now okay so let's make for the journal entries so give the heading journal entries date particulars l debit and credit okay now we are writing for the first year in the first year we are purchasing the first machine and just we are calculating depreciation because second machine is coming in the next years okay yes so on 1412 machine is purchased so machinery account debit to bank account will have its purchase price and cash account will have its expenses so total amount is 24000 where 22200 is for purchase price and 1800 is for expenses okay so b machine purchased b machine purchased now on end of first year that is 31 313 we will calculate the depreciation so depreciation account debit to machinery account amount for depreciation for first year is 2400 which you can see from your calculation and being depreciation calculated then on the end of the first year we will close this depreciation account and we will transfer to profit and loss account so profit and loss account debit to depreciation account amount 2400 2400 now for second year i am writing here So now we need the heading second year. Now for second year on one ten thirty, first the second machine is being purchased. Okay, directly depreciation is not there. Second machine is purchased on one ten thirty in the second year. So again, machinery account debit. to bank account its purchase price and to cash account its expenses total amount is 21600 where 20400 is for its purchase price 1200 is for its expenses again being machine purchased then on the end of this year we are calculating depreciation on the first machine and on the second and first machine both so depreciation account debit to machinery account now the depreciation for both years we have to show here it is 2160 here it is 1080 Two one six zero plus one zero eight zero is three two four zero. Three two four zero. B depreciation calculated, and at the end of this year we will close the depreciation. So profit loss account debit to depreciation account. and the amount 
थ्री टू फोर जीरो थ्री टू फोर जीरो बी डेप्रिशिएशन क्लोज्ड ये और सॉरी फॉरवर्ड बी डेप्रिशिएशन क्लोज्ड ओके सो सेकेंड ईयर इज आल्सो कंप्लीटेड नाउ फॉर द थर्ड ईयर नाउ अगेन इन द थर्ड ईयर we are calculating the depreciation and we are selling off the machine also so first we are calculating the depreciation on both machines so depreciation account debit to machinery account again both the machines have depreciation on the same day year it is 1944 as you can see from your calculation and here it is 2052 so 9 1944 plus 2052 is 3996. B depreciation calculated. And now we will transfer the depreciation to profit loss account. So profit loss account debit. to depreciation account 3996 3996 being depreciation closed now at the end of third year we are also selling the first machine for 3997 we are incurring the loss and the machinery is sold so when machinery is sold bank or uh, if the receiver bank is bank balance is increasing loss is incurred loss is debited loss on sale of machinery account debit to machinery account now bank account will have its cost price 13997 loss will have its amount 3499 and 17496 is the machinery account which is sold so b machinery sold now friends see this is only the sum in whole exercise till now we have solved so much sums but this is only one sum where journal entries are three each for each year normally first year is having only normally we have seen the sums where only first year is having three entries remaining two years are only having two two entries but here why there are three three entries in the first year we are purchasing the machine calculating the depreciation on first machine and we are closing the depreciation in the second year again second machine is calculated uh, coming depreciation is calculated depreciation is closed in the third year depreciation on both the machine here also both the machine depreciation is closed and machinery first is sold so again three three entries each still we want machinery account so now i am running these things and i am now drawing the machinery account so first you have to watch the lecture write the calculation properly and then write the journal entries and finally now you prepare machinery account okay watch properly try to understand okay don't ignore the things yes now let me prepare the machinery it particulars j Machinery account can be prepared using journal entries or without the journal entries. You need to watch here that in the first year what we are doing, we are purchasing a machine. Then it is sold on third year, and second machine is coming in second year. 
So if you are looking the calculation for the first year, we are purchasing the machine and calculating the depreciation. This machine is starting from the second year itself. So in first year we are purchasing the first machine that is on one four twelve. To bank account will have its purchase price. To cash account will have its expenses. So purchase price is twenty two thousand two hundred. And cash account will have its expenses that is eight. Now at the end of first year we are just calculating the depreciation. So thirty one three thirty by depreciation account. Amount of depreciation of first year is two thousand four hundred, and the first year is closed. Twenty four thousand is the total on both these sides. And the balance is twenty one six hundred by balance carried on. Again on the second year that is one four thirteen. Two balance brought down twenty one thousand six hundred. Now in the second year, second machine is purchased. Bank account will have its purchase price. Cash account will have its expense and depreciation of both machines are there on the same day. Okay, so first let us purchase the second machine on one ten thirty. Again to bank account on the same day to cash account. Bank account will have its purchase price that is twenty thousand four hundred. Cash account will have its expense that is twelve. Now on the credit side, thirty one three forty depreciation of both the machines is calculated. So by depreciation account. Now in bank, the first machine is two one six zero. The second machine is one thousand eight. Two one six zero plus one thousand eighty is thirty two forty. Okay. Now let's close down twenty one six hundred. Twenty four hundred and twelve hundred, forty three thousand two hundred, forty three thousand two hundred minus thirty two forty three nine nine six zero by balance carried out. Again in the third year that is on one four forty. Two balance brought down thirty nine thousand nine sixty. Now, if you want to verify that we are correct or not, on one four fourteen, the first machine is nineteen thousand four forty. The second machine on the end of first uh, third year is twenty thousand five twenty. Now, if you make the total nineteen thousand four forty and twenty thousand five twenty, it will be thirty nine nine sixty. You can verify also. Now, in the third year, first machine is sold. But before that, we are having depreciation. Then machinery is sold by loss. So thirty one three fifteen by depreciation account. Now for first machine it is nineteen forty four. For second machine it is two zero five two. So nineteen forty four plus two zero five two is three nine nine six. Again on the same day we are selling the machine by loss. So by bank account we have its sales value thirteen thousand nine ninety seven, and by loss on sale of machine, loss on sale of machine is three four nine nine. So first machine is sold. Now if we are taking the balance, then balance will be eighteen four sixty eight because first machine is totally over. Only the balance will be of second machine. So let's check whether it is correct or not. So three nine nine six zero minus three nine nine six minus thirteen nine ninety seven minus three four nine nine is eighteen forty sixty eight. Eighteen four sixty eight. My balance carried down. Eighteen thousand four hundred and sixty-eight rupees. Okay, friends. So today we are completing this chapter. In the next lecture, we are taking the next lecture of this account. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you so much.